All right, going to show you the physical health effects. Let me just move my mic a little bit closer. The physical health effects of gambling and how gambling can really affect your physical and both mental health too. Because when you get an addiction, it always is bad for your mental health. But going to read to you an article on uh, gamblerscounseling.com. And it is about the physical health effects of gambling. Let me just zoom in on this. The issues related to gambling and gambling itself is a global phenomenon that, that is consistently increasing in terms of the number of new people who become hooked on it. The level of accessibility to gambling activities is at an all-time high, so there is a great need for the government and private stockholders, stakeholders, to stakeholders responsible for its continuous growth to ensure that there is an adequate orientation and awareness of the risks and dangers involved in it. You see, sin always has consequences always has negative health effects. Those actively involved in, pro in uh, providing and allowing, especially the government, gambling services need to, need to ensure that when their clients uh, unavoidably become hooked or addicted to gambling, that it is adequate up-to-date research, treatment, and facility, or sorry, and that it is out of, yeah, and so on. Ultimately, it is on us, uh, on the on us, is on the government to ensure that its citizens are aware of the dangers of gambling so that they are able to make informed decisions and prevent sorry themselves from becoming addicted from getting addicted to gambling you know the verse on that first corinthians 6 12 says you're not brought under should be brought under the power of any uh, let me go to that verse actually first corinthians chapter 6 in verse 12. Oops, I was on the ESV. Sorry, I was I was looking at different modern versions, trying to see how they uh, messed up the Bible. Uh, so I was just checking out the ESV, but yeah, the ESV pretty much messes up the Bible quite a lot. That's why I call it the extremely satanic version. Uh, that's what ESV stands for. In, you know, being being uh, satirical, obviously. But First uh, Corinthians six twelve in the King James, obviously, all things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Okay? The bottom line is that the Bible condemns addictions, whether it's gambling addiction, whether it's alcohol addiction, whether it's drug addiction, even video game addiction. It condemns addiction because you shouldn't be brought under the power of any. The problems associated or or caused directly by gambling addiction can be can be very adverse and may have long-lasting effects on family relationships, finance, work, and even society at large. Though though a, a psychiatrist, I think that's how you say it, not good at reading on a computer, uh, Dr. Hernetta Bowden Jones wants to be specific when she said, quote, families suffer terribly from gambling. They lose homes, kids become depressed. Uh, this is not the worst cause by any means, or the worst case by any means. Research has, research has shown that gambling is associated with a number of physical, mental, and emotional health issues. Like I said earlier, all kinds of emotional, psychological, and neurological health problems that come from gambling. Some of the physical issues linked to gambling include muscular tension, insomnia, col colitis, hope I'm saying that right, high blood pressure, fatigue, heart disease, migraines, stomach alignments, and skin problems. Yeah. Uh, some of the mental uh, problems include obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, attention deficit hyperactive uh, hyperactivity, depression, maniac and clinical depression, and decline in self-worth. It should be noted that most gamblers are likely to result in smoking and drinking habits, which create other health problems. Exactly. Because when you get into one addiction, it will lead to others too. Because sin is always a gateway to other problems, like smoking addiction and all this other stuff. So heart disease. Gambling pre-exposes you to a wide range of heart conditions, which include blood vessel diseases like coronary artery disease and also hurt uh, are also heart rhythm problems are are hypothemius hope I'm saying that right due to high uh, pressure that comes with gambling the risks of blood vessels uh, constricting or getting blocked increases greatly chest pains and stroke and heart attack heart attacks can also occur and you got high blood pressure hypertension is one of the most likely consequences of gambling when the body is ex is always anxious and stressed trying to figure out the outcomes and looking forward to favor to to a favorable one even the most even though the most times it turns out to be the opposite so you've got high blood pressure too muscular tension this is the common this is common for gamblers and those who place their valuables on the outcome of specific events uh, the tension is produced 
as a result of cross bridges formed between the actim and my myosin uh, filaments I hope I'm saying these words right in each muscular fiber of the body the the resultant force acts on the bones through the ten through the tendons and connected tissues causing external tension yeah you get really in stress, stress you get in stressful situations that are just stressful stressful for the brain you get all those problems insomnia the inability to sleep is uh, which is very crucial to the body can uh, be an effect of compulsive gambling. Staying up all night can seriously affect your physical well-being, making you fatigued and drowsy. The consequences of chronic insomnia can be very adverse and will lead to diabetes, stroke, heart disease, high blood pressure, and so on. With that, Stacy Lee uh, Ch Chanel, hope, hope I'm saying that name right, um, emphasizes, quote, patients who experience continued insomnia are less likely to respond to medication and uh, psycho psychotherapy next sorry uh, treatment and those without uh, then those without sleep problems unquote consistent gambling all uh, simply increases the risk of hypertension ensuring that your body ensuring that your blood pressure is over the healthy limit which can lead to heart diseases kidney diseases and even a stroke then you got of course migraines gambling requires that you always be playing at the odds in your head uh, even before you place your bets sorry Recurrent headaches are one of those health issues gamblers have to deal with. It is usually characterized by a sharp throbbing pain on one or both sides of the head, which can be disabling. Yeah, I've had really bad headaches at times. It's pretty annoying. Fatigue. The feeling of exhaustion, lack of energy, and lack of motivation is quite common among gamblers. And you got colitis. The inflammation of the inner lining of the colon, commonly called colitis, is another physical health issue that can be triggered by excessive gambling. So... The bottom line is, is that all sin is negative. All sin will hurt you in some way. And gambling is a very serious sin. It's the love of money. Uh, 1 Timothy 6, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, and while which some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. Kind of like all the physical health problems you get, many sorrows, because it's the love of money. That's what it comes down to. Uh, gambling is a wicked sin, and all sin will have health problems. Okay, every sin, whether it be fornication, adultery, uh, whatever, sodomy, it always has health problems. Abortion can cause you to be depressed if you're the woman who gets the abortion, and if you're the abortion doctor, you obviously have major guilt. Anyone who has, uh, who doesn't have a seared conscience, so don't do gambling. It is wicked, and it will harm you in very various physical ways. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.